This is Texans TV. Hey guys, it's Keisha Nicole. I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Now listen, we have a phenomenal show for you today. Some of the guys, they were on the community this week, uh, just giving back. Gotta love that. And also, we're gonna be catching up with Coach Amico Ryans as Mark sits down with him. But first, let's take it back to last game with a cinematic recap. Why not us? Why not us? Murray in the gun gets the snap. A lot of time for Murray. Now heaves it long downfield and caught. Touchdown, Rondell Moore. First down, Texans at their 39. Stroud under center, drops back, steps up, fires downfield. Got a man, Tank Dell, brought down at the 41-yard line of the Cardinals. Shotgun, Dell orbit motion. Stroud fakes the give, throws downfield, and he's got Woods this time. Here's the snap. CJ throwing over the middle. Caught, sliding catch. That's a touchdown. And it's a touchdown. I've never seen that happen before on a football field. Kyler takes the snap, and the ball is on the ground. Connor covers it up. And the Texans tap him down at the 34-yard line. Murray takes the snap. Four-man rush. Murray in trouble. Murray's going to go down. Bringing down the quarterback. And the Texans get off the field. Hey, hey. 57-yard attempt. Snap down. Kick on the way. It's got the leg. And it's good. Here's CJ in the gun, getting the snap, looking, looking, throwing over the middle. Hits Woods for the first down, and he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Stroud sets up the screen, right side, Steven Sims. He's got wheels, 35, cuts outside, 30, 25, and brought down at the 21-yard line by Thompson. And it's a first down catch and run by Steven Sims. Hello. CJ feeds Devin straight ahead. Cuts left, five, fighting for the goal line. Touchdown, Houston! And he gives it. Arian Foster type bow. Sweet. Hey, go, look out, look out, go. Four man front for Houston. Murray takes the give. Steps back, steps up. Now guns it long downfield. Wants Brown and intercepted. Derek Stingley Jr. with the pick. The takeaway by the Texans. Stingley's second career INT. Third down and nine from the Cardinal 31. Murray calling for the ball. Here's the snap. Texans sending extra people. Murray with a little time and escapes one sack. No, he can't do it. He stripped up as Cashman got there first. He'll snap it from the 48-yard line. Second and three. Stroud shotgun one back. CJ looking, throwing over the middle, and it's a kneel down catch by Schultz. Tonight. 18. Okay. Offset eye. CJ drops back in the pocket. Looking. Flushed out to the right. CJ guns it long downfield. And caught. Oh, wow! Down. An amazing catch. Tank Dell. What a throw by Stroud. Jumps into the stands. He extended every bit of his body to make that catch. Whoa! Let's go! Brown to the right side. Handoff, Connor, right side. He's going to get swallowed up as Jonathan Grenard brings him down for a loss. Murray feeds Connor, who's going to be met in the backfield by Will Anderson Jr. I mean, you're talking about a 230 pound back, and he just handled him like a rag doll. Murray gets the snap. Murray looking. Murray throwing to the right. Got a man, but he's going to be short. Tavier Thomas and friends making sure he doesn't get what he needs. Johnston gets it on target from Weeks. Gets it off high and long. And here's Dorch backtracking. This one takes a tremendous It hit roll. Dorch. It, it hit, hit a, a Cardinal. And the Texans fall on it at the 25-yard line. And they've got the ball. Wow. Murray looks it over. Takes the snap. Murray fires downfield. Incomplete. That ball came out of his hand funny. 
Yeah. At the Houston 27, Murray in the gun. Murray throwing downfield to his left and incomplete. Knocked away, Steven Nelson and the Texans take over on downs. 21-16, they have the ball. And Arizona's not gonna stop it. It's over at NRG Stadium. Bring on the Jaguars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, love it, man, love it. Hey, everything that could have went wrong right there, it doesn't matter. We found a way to win. Yes, sir. We found a way to win. Yes, sir. That's what good teams in this league do. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. We find a way to win, it doesn't matter. Defense, way to stand up. Yes, right? Way to stand up. Hey, every, everything about what we do, we have each other back. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, we got your back. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, fighting for each other. We play complimentary football. This is a family. We keep it tight. Texas! Four! Yes, sir! Hey guys, welcome back to Texans 360 and the show rolls on. We're gonna take you to the Arizona Cardinal game where our guy, CJ Shroud, is mic'd up and we're gonna get an in-depth look on what it's like when he's got the mic. Today, the Houston Texans take on the Arizona Cardinals at NRG Stadium. The Texans have won two in a row and are looking for their longest winning streak in five years, while the Cardinals are a brand new team with Kyler Murray and James Conner back. Here we go. Ah, what's it at? What a team. What's that? What a team. What's that? CJ throwing over the middle, caught sliding catch. That's a touchdown. And it's a touchdown. Okay. Dalton Schultz. Let's go. I know. The slip. It's on with the ball. Let's go, boy. 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 Let's go, is it? Yeah, bro, slip all the way on my head. Someone's laying it on you? I don't know. <laughs> like, white, bro. I don't, yeah, that's what it is. I know. You change your jersey, too? No, I don't think they have it. Hey, would you mind changing it? Do I have another jersey for uh, Dieter? Yeah. Dripping wet. Can you get it for him? Yeah. I didn't even celebrate. What's that? I, I threw a terrible <laughs> it's, Bro, hey, literally, I, I, it's, it's wet. I didn't grip the ball at all. I literally couldn't grip the ball. The ball slipped. I'm like, I'm like, damn, I threw a bad ball. We scored. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. You know, I'm a perfectionist, bro. Got it. Keep moving. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's go, baby. Hey. Rob. Hey. It's a lot of pressure. So make sure we get our eyes around on these hots. A lot of pressure, so make sure y'all get your eyes around on these hots. Here we go. Ow, for tonight. Hey, good pro, great pro. Great pro, great pro. That's quarter. Great pro. I gotta help you out. Watch out. I'll help you out. No, I thought I thought <laughs> him up. No, I told him right here. I got him right. You right. You got yeah. him right. 118. What's that? Yes, Steve. Yes, Steve. <laughs> Yeah, see? Tonight! 
118. TJ feeds Devin straight ahead. Cuts left. Five. Fighting for the goal line. Touchdown, Houston. Hey. Hey, hey. Go flick up. Flick up. Go. Go stay. Hold on, hold on. Stay, stay. 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 Go. Now guns it long downfield, wants Brown and intercepted. Derek Stingley Jr. with the pick. Sound good. It sound good, Roy. Hey, Roy. You, you remember our handshake? I don't either. <laughs> All I know, hey, all I know is fire, though. Let's put a jaw together, man. That last one on me. I got y'all. The last one on me. Let's get another one. Here we go. 118. What's that? Offset eye. CJ drops back in the pocket, looking. Flushed out to the right. CJ comes it long downfield and caught. Amazing catch. Tank Dell. You like that, baby? You like that, baby? Oh, my mama, bro. <laughs> Let's go. We got the one looking for this. Great catch. Hey, this is a perfect situation, right? Hell of a job. Good game, bro. You're a hell of a player, man. Good game, baby. Good game, baby. Good game, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Playing to you, bro. Respect y'all. You too, baby. You show up on film a lot. Continue to be you. Cause you already know how this goes. You already know how it goes. Let's go. Let's go. Respect you, bro. What's up? Keep on. Respect you, coach. What's up? All right, man. The Houston Texans have won three games in a row. Their longest winning streak in five boy, years. Boy. They beat Arizona 21-16. Right, boy. It works. Keep going. Hey guys, we are back in the Ford Studios. You know, every single week we get to catch up with Coach D'Amico Ryans. So we're going to see what he's talking about this week with John Harris and Mark Vandermeer. We're here in the Hyundai Texans Radio Studio with Head Coach D'Amico Ryans. Coach, how's it going? Going great. Going great. How you guys doing? Doing well. Well, congratulations on the latest victory. And as happy as everybody is about the win, I get the feeling talking to the players that they want more, Coach, that they feel like there's a standard to be met. They want to play even better. I love that about our players. I love that mindset. That's the growth mindset that we talked about throughout the offseason and continue to talk about through the season. Right, we're never satisfied with where we are. and We ever want to always want everyone to focus on where are those one or two areas where I can improve. Mistakes that I've made, how can I clean those up to help us have a better game? Right, You always want to win the game. That's always the goal. But we think within that game, we could have played much better. It's been six weeks that you're like, the, the heart is that is struggling <laughs> right now, Coach. No this doubt. is like six weeks in a row, but you came up with the defensive stops at the end. You and I talked about a little bit about the approach. I want to go into that a little bit more. 
of just of not letting Kyler stand uh, back there and just you know kind of having his look. You were going to force a decision on him, and in particular on fourth and eight, Will was able to get through there, and Steven got the uh, the knockdown. What was kind of your thought process in that last final drive? When did you know this is the final drive? Because we were kind of talking about on the broadcast. Okay, is there a chance that, well, maybe they scored, you get the ball back. When did you kind of get the feeling, okay, this is the final drive of the game? Right, well, I felt like we were going to stop them. We had a long third down, I think like a third and 12. I felt like we should have got, you know, a big stop there when they were backed up, but we allowed them to drive down. I think Dortch ended up catching a pass, yeah. and we missed it. Missed a ton of tackles. It's like, oh, man, here we go again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, knew we at that point, once they crossed midfield, Right, I knew we had to kind of tighten it up, put the pressure on Kyler at that point to really force him to get some stop. Didn't think it would be the last drive, but yeah. I kept looking up, and time continued to dwindle and look up. We had a big third down there. We got really good pressure by, uh, by Petrie, and I think uh, Christian Harris knocked the ball down, and we were able to step up again. And then Will Anderson comes away, you know, with the play of the game, getting pressure, and also Steven Nelson getting a big PBU. Yep. Coach, I should know this, but did you score a touchdown in the NFL? Mm, one. one. One time. One time. What did you do to celebrate? <laughs> oh, I think do I just threw my hands up and was just running around <laughs> with the football. Yeah, it was. So a, you didn't jump literally into the stands like your rookie rookie wide receiver did? My hops are not as good as uh, Tank Dale. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have made it. stands <laughs> after the touchdown. You and I talked just after that touchdown. Yeah. It was amazing. Because as I'm starting to ask you a question, the crowd is giving you that ovation going off the field. And a lot of it, obviously, was because Tank had just scored. What kind of juice does he just give this entire organization? Electric, man. It's electric. Like, he he inspires everyone. Like, with his playmaking ability, his route running ability, when you really slow it down and you really get a chance to really look at his route run, like, as, as I told the guys, he, he puts defenders in a blender. Yep. Right? He really yeah. mixes them up have them sideways, and but Tank is a explosive playmaker. Well, you mentioned him at the University of Houston. That doesn't always translate, though, Coach. So right. you might not have known it until you saw it in the NFL. What makes the difference there? Because clearly he's working on his game and getting better week to week. Yeah, he's truly working on his game. He's really detailed in his route running ability. Right, That's the one thing that sets him apart. He's very detailed. His approach, the way he practices throughout the week, he's very detailed, deliberate and how he practices. You know, I think it's just that vibe and connection that him and CJ has, right? CJ truly trusts Tank. That's why he probably gets a few more opportunities with the ball, but he comes down with those catches. Like right? mm -hmm. CJ knows that Tank is going to make those plays for him. And Tank is a, is a smaller player, so that was something you were probably worried about, his size coming into the NFL. But He's so elusive that they can't hit him, right? He doesn't right. take a big hit because he's just so crafty at the top of his route. Well, thanks a lot for joining us, and best of luck this week. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back. Now, some of our Texans players were on the community, as they do all the time, for Thanksgiving, giving back to the city, and we're going to check out some of the cool moments in this recap. In honor of Thanksgiving, Houston Texans players spent their time giving back to the community this week. From turkey giveaways to grocery store surprises, the players made the holiday season a little bit brighter for many across Houston. Long snapper John Weeks provided Thanksgiving lunch for patients and their families at Texas Children's on Tuesday. Weeks has a long-standing tradition of visiting the hospital during the holidays, and he was joined by punter Cameron Johnston, kicker Matt Amendola, and Texans special teams coaches. Oh, there's a smile. Oh, a pretty smile. There's a smile. <laughs> I love your bow. You're so pretty. Just wanted to come and try to make your Thanksgiving a little bit better. So we were going to drop off some meals and just kind of come hang out with you for a little bit and talk and catch up. It was great to meet you, my guy. Absolute pleasure. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I'm going to be praying for you. Okay? Excited, excited to hear when you get to that banquet in three weeks. All right, buddy? Have a great Thanksgiving. You too. All the best. At the Kroger Gate at NRG Stadium, the Texans offensive line and Kroger hosted a Thanksgiving meal pickup for families in need this holiday season. The players generously donated over 300 meals to families in need. Thank you! Oh my God, this is so nice! Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving! 
Finally, Texans defensive end Will Anderson Jr. surprised the varsity football team at Brookshire Royal High School with a Thanksgiving meal, and he gave out grocery gift cards to each player and their family to shop for holiday items. The high school team behind me right now, man, they touched my souls, you know. Um, I went to, I had an event that they came to, and it just reminded me so much of when I was in high school and my high school football team, and I told them that I was going to come out to a football game this year and I couldn't make one. So it's Thanksgiving time, and I just wanted to be a blessing, be a servant to somebody, and just let God use me any way he can. And I just wanted to come and bless these young guys. But just giving back, having fun with the guys. Got a couple of teammates here sharing our stories and having a good time. So that's what we're doing here today. I remember, you know, having this time with your high school boys, bonding, and then being able to build on something. Now work hard on the field, in the classroom, and you guys can achieve whatever you put your mind to. We consider you family, right? And what you do in family is you hang up family pictures. So we want to honor you with a picture of our family. This is really important for us, really special. Uh, so I want to present this to you and your family, and thank you very much for being part of our family. Thank you. I thank you very much. Um, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so it has been a great show. I hate to leave, but excited to see you this upcoming Sunday back in the stadium as your in-stadium MC, Keisha Nicole. It's been fun.